Hi everyone, Ray here on this video. Ang papag-usapan natin is kung paano mag-sell or take profits in COL Financial. Disclaimer lang, I am not a financial expert and everything na ituturo ko dito sa video na to is based on my own knowledge, experience, and research. So kung balak nyo man mag-invest or mag-trade, please do your own research first and only trade or invest money that you can afford to lose. Okay, so andito tayo sa COL dashboard. Go to trade and then portfolio. Makikita nyo dito na si ABBA stock natin ay nag-gain ng 205.42%. And gusto ko mag-partial pull out ng profits ko. Possible kasi na bumaba na to and possible din na tumaas pa lalo. So if bumaba, at least nakatake profits ako. And if tumaas naman, may may iwan pa akong shares, number of shares, na pwede pang lumaki lalo. By the way, dito sa page stocks, hindi ako nagtitrade. I only invest for the long term, so hindi ako masyadong nagte-technical analysis dito. More of fundamental analysis yung ginagawa ko. Ang equivalent ng 205.42% gains ko is 18,130.56 pesos. So ito yung current value ng stock shares ko. Dahil the average price ng binili ko, si ABBA is 0.4413 pesos per share and naging 1.3600 pesos per share na siya. A total of 20,000 shares ang currently owned ko. So in order to sell or take profits, click sell. Out of my 20,000 shares, gusto ko lang mag-sell ng 5,000 shares. Okay. For the price, you actually have the option to choose. Uh, etong buy is list of buyers and ask is the list of sellers. Kung titignan nyo dito, it shows that ang gustong price na bumili ang buyers is as low as 1.31 pesos and as high as 1.35 pesos. Ito naman is kung gaano kadami yung shares ng mga gustong bumili. Itong number naman dito sa gilid is the number of traders or investors na willing bumili at this price. If gusto nyo agad mabenta yung shares nyo, itong prices dito ang susundan nyo kasi sure na may bibili. Itong ask naman is the price and number of shares na willing ibenta ng mga traders. So magiging isa na tayo dyan sa bilang na yan um, once we sell. Tapos base dito 1.36 yung pinakamababa and 1.4 yung pinakamataas. Ideally, yung pinakamataas ang kukunin nyo kasi syempre gusto nyo makabenta at a higher price to gain more profits, ba? If ibenta ko ng 1.36, Ito ang total amount na makukuha ko. If 1.40, then ito yung total amount. So, mas matas siya. But if you choose the highest price kasi possible na hindi mabenta yung shares mo and makakancel yung order mo. Although wala namang mangyayari sa account mo, but yun nga lang, if you want to sell kagad and gusto mo nang mabenta yung shares mo, possible na hindi mo agad magagawa. Pero ako, okay lang naman kung mabenta ko siya within the day or not. Kaya, ilalagay ko dito yung highest price. O ba pag may bumili, di good, more profits. Kung hindi, okay lang. Pwede ko ulit try tomorrow. And hopefully, pag binenta ko nun, mas tataas pa yung price. So, mas malaking profits na makukuha ko. Click preview order. May kita niyo dito associated fees and charges. Enter your password to confirm the order. Then place sell order. It says here your order is being sent for execution. Hindi pa na benta yung shares mo dito. Sinasabi lang na yung order mo is out in the market for buyers to buy your shares. View order status. Mahikita niyo dito details ng order niyo. Ayan, wait lang natin. Balikan natin later or tomorrow. And let's see kung nabenta natin siya. By the way, the market is open from 9.30am to 12 noon and then lunch break and then 1pm to 2.45pm ng Mondays to Fridays, excluding holidays. Ito lang yung time frame na pwede kang mag-buy or sell ng stocks. Dahil pag-closed yung market, 
So, makikita nyo dito, closed or open yung market, hindi kayo pwede mag-trade. The next day. And we're back. Tignan natin kung na-place yung order natin kahapon. And yes, may bumili sa price natin. So, nadagdagan na yung actual balance ko. And makikita nyo na 15k shares na lang si Aba. But tumaas pa lalo yung price. So, nag-gains ulit tayo. Ngayon, 218.90% na siya. If I sold yung buong 20,000 shares ko, I could have missed these gains. Kaya buti nagtira pa ako ng shares on this stock. Maganda ang pag-partial withdraw lang or partial selling only kasi you'll never know baka tumaas pa lalo yung stock and at least kung bumaba man, nakapag-pull out ka na. That's it guys, ganun mag-sell and take profits in COL Financial. I hope naka-help tong video na to. If you have any questions, please comment down below and I would appreciate it. If you'd like this video, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell in order to be notified on more videos similar to these. Thank you. Bye. Kaya if gusto nyo mabenta agad shares nyo, itong price.